everyone, a new poll from Main Street confirms what we knew all along. The United Conservative Party would absolutely obliterate Rachel Notley's NDP government. If the Alberta election were held today instead of 2019, the NDP would have their sorry socialist butts handed to them. The United Conservative Party would hold a majority with 57% of the vote across the province compared to Rachel Notley's 29%. But the numbers are even more shocking encouraging and hopeful when you break them down by region because it shows how Rachel Notley in her NDP Edmonton stronghold lives completely in a government funded bubble. If the election were held today in Calgary among decided voters the United Conservative Party would take 50% of the vote compared to the NDP's 32%. In the rest of Alberta the UCP would take 68% of the vote leaving the NDP with a measly 20% remaining. The only place the NDP still hang on to support is the capital city of Edmonton, where, as Ralph Klein once said, there are too many socialists and mosquitoes. In Edmonton, the UCP would only garner 39% of the vote, with the NDP hanging on to the majority of support at 47%. That last number there, though, is no surprise. The city of Edmonton is the seat of government and all the government jobs that go along with that. And because Rachel Notley went on a public sector hiring spree, while the rest of the province saw round of layoff after round of layoff in the private sector, Edmonton has been artificially insulated from the economic reality everyone else across the province has been struggling with. There are still roughly 27% of voters left undecided, which isn't all that unusual two years out of an election. It's actually normal. But what that could mean is the numbers for the United Conservative Party could actually tick upwards as they announce policies and elect a leader. So the United Conservative Party with no leader and no policies whatsoever, with Jason Kenney only formally declaring his candidacy on the first of two days that this polling was being conducted, the United Conservative Party of Alberta would still see massive majorities. The kinds of majorities Albertas are pretty used to. And really, are these poll numbers all that surprising to anyone? They're not to me, but they might shock and disappoint the mainstream media. How many stories did we read about how Jason Kenney would never, ever become the PC leader? Well, he won with nearly 76% of the vote for the party's leadership. How many stories did we read saying the UCP could never unite? They united with 95% of the vote in favor. How many stories are we currently reading about how much the centrist vote will matter in Alberta? The centrist Alberta party is only polling at a whopping 9%. We have seen this the whole time, throughout the whole unification process between the two parties. There's a real disconnect between the media and the everyday people here in Alberta. But with over 20 journalists joining the ranks of government spin doctors in the last two years since Rachel Notley was elected, you have to realize a lot of their stories are just, well, a cover letter and a resume for a job with the NDP. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. I promise you, none of my stories are an audition tape for a job with the NDP. To never miss a story, be sure to subscribe to our new Rebel Canada YouTube page.